Henrik of Denmark died at age 83 as a result of pneumonia complicated by a benign lung tumor. He died on Tuesday, February 13, at 11.18 p.m. at Friedensburg Castle, where he had been transferred a few hours earlier after being admitted to the Riggs Hospital. Last Friday, the Danish royal house had already announced that the prince's condition had severely deteriorated. The rapid return of Federico, who was in South Korea supporting athletes competing in the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics, as well as continuous visits from his immediate family already foreshadowed the sad end. Born in 1934 in Talence, France, as Henri-Marie Jean André de la Borde, he became Prince of Denmark after marrying then-Princess Marguerite in 1967 at a wedding attended by all the world's royalty. He met his future wife while serving as third secretary at the French Embassy in London, while the sovereign was attending an economics course, and they fell madly in love with each other. In the more than fifty years of their marriage, Margaret always showed that Henrik was her great weakness, even though rumors of infidelity constantly haunted her. Marital happiness consists in two people who understand each other well and can surprise each other from time to time, nor did I want to marry without love just to be able to reign, because I would have cheated my parents in Denmark, said Margaret, who had always praised her husband several years earlier. Henrik and Margarita's marriage produced two children, Federico, the heir, in 1968, and Joaquin a year later. As he himself acknowledged, his role as father could not be called outstanding, since he did not participate in the upbringing and development of Federico and Joaquin. Nevertheless, she threw herself full throttle with her eight grandchildren. For Christian, Isabella, Vincent and Josephine the four children of Federico and Maria and Nicholas, Felix, Henrik and Athena the descendants of Joaquin he was a very close grandfather with whom they shared moments and even official actions. Henrik had been the perfect consort prince for decades. An indispensable supporter of Margaret in the shadows, she managed to win a place in the hearts of the Danes, despite the fact that they knew of her commitment to hedonism. In early 2016, the sovereign announced in her New Year's speech that the prince had decided to resign, I deeply appreciate all the support, help and inspiration you have given me all these years. Since then, the prince has devoted himself to traveling the world as a bon vivant in the purest style of King Juan Carlos.